G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel. I'm doing a little bit of uh, experimentation here um, with slit scan, but not with photography, but with videography using a image lagging Viticon tube black and white video camera from the 1970s, the Sony AVC3250. So here I've got the slit. And here I've got my subject, the uh, C's Power uh, Energy Drink Can. And I've got a 10 watt LED light shining on it. And what I do here is I've got the, got the aperture wide open and I've got it set to low sensitivity. So I've got some image lag and... As I pan the camera across, you can actually see the the uh, can come up on screen. So it looks a bit like that of a of a vintage slow scan TV, which the image uh, scans are formed slowly onto a long persistence uh, cafe ray tube and um, as it's forming um, it decays at the at the top of the image but in this case we're going across rather than up and down up at, rather than down um, but yeah it's it, it looks like that of a yeah slow scan TV display but basically, I'm using the uh, Viticon as pretty much the, uh, the slow scan picker, so to speak. But instead, we're actually doing slit scan. So as I'm scanning across, um, the uh, after image persistence is pretty much forming the picture. So you can s you can pretty much see the see uh, much of the picture um, as if the cam was like um, was was uh, cut and uh, unrolled it's pretty cool how this actually works I've done experimental slit scan photography using the slit and um, and yeah I get the formation of pictures of this of the rotating subject as if as if it was um, unrolled. Anyway, um, this is my first attempt at experimenting with um, with a uh, Viticon tube video camera. And as you move quickly across, the the uh, picture becomes elongated. Generally, yeah, to actually see the picture, you just scan, you just move it across around about that speed, um, and yeah, here's my camera as I'm moving it, uh, moving it side to side. Yeah, so you pretty much can uh, only achieve this with uh, with with uh, video cameras with a with a uh, image tube that has after image uh, lag persistence, which which um, yeah, Viticon tubes are pretty much the best for this task. Try this with a CCD camera, you pretty much won't won't get this effect. Now I'm gonna put another subject in front of it and see how she'll come up. Um, so I'm gonna use this uh, model golden dialect. 
try and get it as centered as possible to get the best results. And um, yeah, it's a matter of getting it into focus. zoom her in as much as I can and it doesn't quite work as well as that of the uh, can but it sort of does work And I'm um, kind of temporarily burning the tube in the process. Um, it's getting spotty and all that. Seeing it's only, um, seeing it's not sunlight, the burn won't be permanent. So I'm using a lower, I'm sort of closing the, the uh, iris a bit. Um, Yeah, it doesn't work as good with a dialect. Um, I'll put something else in front of it. Um, perhaps my money tin, if it's a bit heavy on the money, but might slow the turntable down a fair bit. But anyway, um, just get it into alignment and. And yeah, it's it's working all right. The money tin, um, getting a you can pretty much see the Australian hundred dollar notes as I move it from side to side. Anyway, it's pretty much my experimentation with uh, slit scan videography using my vintage 70s Sony AVC 3250 Viticon camera. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. This is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel, signing out.